It's certainly not a record that we want. Cape Cod saw one of the highest levels of dolphin strandings in the past week. This year alone, nonprofit agencies and volunteers have responded to five times the normal amount of strandings. And new at six now, WBC's Mike Sullivan tells us crews think they have some idea why it's happening so often. The waters off the Cape are teeming with life, especially dolphins. More than ever, these animals are getting stranded on the shore. We typically get about 68 animal live dolphins per year. Um, currently, um, as I'm sitting here today, we have had 342. Brian Sharp is with the International Fund for Animal Welfare. He says the southeast corner of the Cape Cod Bay has more dolphin strandings than anywhere on the planet. But we've been quite busy this summer. This was the scene in Provincetown in August. IFA rescuers are releasing dolphins previously stranded in Wellfleet. Every animal kind of handles the shock and stress of a stranding differently. Wellfleet Fire was called to help during one incident. Luke Fancy and his crew used their equipment to trickle water over the animals. We had to cover our hands kind of over the blowhole because it, I guess if you get a lot of water in the blowhole, you can actually drown the dolphin. The animals were caught in a marsh near a road that Fancy says often floods. And in that flooding water, you could see a ton of bait fish. Sharp believes the stranding spike has to do with food. Fishermen telling them prey fish for dolphins and whales are showing up closer to shore and in much greater numbers. The difference between low tide and high tide can be nine to sometimes 12 feet. So an animal is chasing these fish into um, 12 foot of water. Six hours later, that animal is high and dry. Of the 342 dolphins, Sharp and his crew have saved all but 13. In Boston, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.